If life had taken 10% longer to evolve on Earth, it wouldn't exist at all. Almost 50 years ago, we set up goodbyes to Voyager 1, sending it on a mission of no return, a mission that was supposed to open new portals in our understanding of the solar system. Like a faithful servant, Voyager 1 has been sending back hordes of data to Earth, exposing mind-boggling discoveries about our cosmos and taking us on a journey into new worlds we never knew existed. Now, Voyager has taken its job too far by dropping an interstellar shocker on the laps of scientists. Scientists couldn't believe their eyes as they glanced in amazement at the astonishing data that Voyager 1 just transmitted to Earth. A terrifying discovery that is on the verge of rewriting cosmic history as we know it. What's this alarming discovery that Voyager 1 just uncovered? Is it true that Voyager has crossed into interstellar space? Join us on this intriguing cosmic journey as we explore what happened. Interstellar space has seen nothing like Voyager 1 before, as this scientific work of art has explored depths in our cosmos that shock even the best of scientists. This engineering enigma has traveled into regions that we never anticipated, uncovering mind-blowing discoveries that are rewriting our understanding of interstellar space. For over 45 years, Voyager 1 has unveiled shocking findings that astronomers never envisioned we would come across, at least not in the spacecraft's lifetime. Alas, we couldn't have been more wrong, because Voyager 1 has astounded everyone by surviving beyond its expected lifespan. Like a Shakespearean fairy tale, Voyager 1 has not only exceeded its projected lifespan, but has ventured into distances that have left the entire scientific community speechless. We can't help but be in awe of a spacecraft that is billions of miles away from its launch pad. A spacecraft that has wowed everyone with its genius in rewriting the tenets of space exploration. Thanks to Voyager 1, scientists have been forced to discard some limiting beliefs and embrace new thought models when it comes to interstellar space voyages. It's almost like we were learning from the books right from scratch. Voyager 1 has held everyone spellbound by its insane ability to still send back data to Earth despite its extremely far distance in space. What's more dumbfounding is that we are constantly receiving data from the spacecraft despite its outdated technology. It doesn't care about how this makes us feel because it has widened a surprise on our faces with its latest goosebumps tingling discovery. This is one discovery scientists haven't stopped talking about ever since they interpreted the recent message that Voyager 1 sent to Earth. It appears that Voyager may have presented us with the interstellar discovery of the decade, a discovery we didn't have to lift a finger to find. What more could we ask for? The journey to unlocking the secrets of the cosmos didn't start today but dates as far back as 1965, when the engine of space exploration was just kicking off. We can't tell the story without mentioning Gary Flandro, who worked at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. He was the luminous mind tasked with modifying the optimal path for a space probe that would reach the distant giants of our solar system, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Flandro took on this daunting task with great faith and got to work immediately, putting his pencil to great use for several hours. Then he discovered the unthinkable. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, all four gas giants would align in a cosmic dance, forming a celestial necklace with the Earth. This was a once-in-a-lifetime event, a historic moment that we may never get to see again. From the data that Flandro had unearthed, it was evident that a spacecraft passing by each planet could gain a speed boost from its gravitational pull, like an invisible rope was pulling it. It dawned on Flandro that a journey from Earth to Neptune would have taken 30 years. However, the script had flipped thanks to the calculations deduced from this finding. According to the captivating image painted in Flandro's mind by this latest finding, this journey could be shortened to 12 years due to these gravity assists. Without wasting time, Flandro relayed his finding to the top brass of NASA and advised that we start making concrete plans to seize the opportunity this remarkable cosmic event would offer us. This is because this extraordinary cosmic event only occurs once every 176 years. Like a deer running to safety, NASA sprang into action immediately to avoid missing out on this golden opportunity. The opportunity didn't come as a surprise to astronomers when the space agency launched two twin spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, within 15 days of each other in 1977. The space probes left the shores of Earth for space with one mandate ingrained in their computer system. Explore the distant giants in our solar system. 
although scientists were optimistic that these space explorers would uncover mouth-watering discoveries. Nothing had prepared them for the record-breaking findings that these space probes would stumble upon in this monumental voyage. The twin spacecraft lived true to their name by successfully embarking on a cosmic voyage that has enlightened our understanding of the solar system and interstellar space at large. Naturally, one would expect that their light would be quenched with time. However, we couldn't have been more wrong because these spectacular space explorers continue to blaze strongly in space, exploring depths we never imagined they could visit and keeping us abreast of the findings they unlock through the data they send back to the ground team on Earth. They have secured their place in the history books by venturing into the farthest distances trodden by any space probe in human history. Moreover, they consistently amaze everyone by being the oldest known spacecraft in history. We can't help but have the utmost admiration for their commendation because their original mission durations were supposed to last for only four years. However, they shocked skeptics and everyone at large by pushing past the limit that had been put on their existence. The story keeps getting more glorious with each passing day, and scientists can't seem to get enough of the astonishing discoveries that the Voyager craft keeps bringing our way. In the early days of their journey, these heroic spacecraft gave us thrilling up-close views of Jupiter and Saturn. They took the veil off our eyes regarding our perception of these giant planets, correcting wrong notions and expanding the lens through which we view these distant planets. Thanks to the voyage across the huge chasm that had limited our understanding of these distant giants, it was slowly filled up as our eyes became configured to the exciting new worlds that we didn't know existed in Jupiter or Saturn. Scientists couldn't hide their astonishment at the fact that these worlds were strikingly more beautiful, active, and dynamic than we could have imagined. Astronomers almost screamed in joy when the data provided by these space probes showed that these planets housed active volcanoes and magnificent ice fields. It was like scientists had been granted entry into a Disneyland filled with the most impressive space discoveries they could think of. Who would have imagined that a spacecraft that is nothing more than a vintage Volkswagen Beetle could tread into uncharted territory and come out with unimaginable discoveries? The kind we haven't seen or heard before. Like a brave hunter daring to go into the thick of a thick forest, Voyager 2 did the unexpected, being the first spacecraft to get so close to Uranus in 1986, and then it continued on this mind-blowing trail until it glided past Neptune in 1989. So far, the history books hold Voyager 2's name as the only spacecraft to have traveled to such lengths in exploring these two ice giants. What historians find more mind-boggling are the landmark discoveries that these iconic visits brought to life. We would have remained in the dark when it comes to our perception of these two distant worlds if Voyager 2 hadn't dared to travel that far, a journey that has placed it over 14 billion miles from our planet. Voyager 1 wouldn't have been able to defy everyone's expectations all by itself early on in its journey. It had to receive help. We get to see this when its monumental voyage began with a gravity assist from Venus, a maneuver never attempted before by any spacecraft on their way to Mercury. The Voyager craft's journey is filled with records of many firsts. They kept setting records each passing day as they sailed through the enchanting waves of interstellar space. As exciting as this tale sounds, it wasn't an easy ride for the Voyagers. It seems like a piece of cake now, but decades back, when the space probes were climbing through the different stages of this journey, they had a tense atmosphere overshadowing them. We see evidence of this during their multiple attempts to get the necessary maneuver to Mercury. Moreover, the first leg of their journey to Jupiter was far from rosy, as the voyage took them to a distance ten times farther from Earth than Mercury. This epic journey saw the probes navigate through the unpleasant waves of the asteroid belt, a path that threatened to deter them from their goal. However, the crafts hadn't come this far to be deterred, so they blazed until they crossed the slippery region and continued their glorious exploration of the solar system. Although the Voyager had scaled through the asteroid belt unharmed, its worries didn't end there. There were still a bunch of challenges waiting for the craft along the way as it sailed through space. Scientists recognized the fact that the Voyager was in a tight corner, especially when we consider that it only had 69 kilobytes of memory, which was equivalent to a fraction of a smartphone's storage capacity. Hence, the probe's computers had to depend on onboard systems to manage the complexities of their journey. It is interesting to note that the data obtained by the probe's instruments had to be stored on tape recorders before they were sent back to Earth by a modest 23-watt transmitter, which was as powerful as a refrigerator light bulb. 
Since Voyager was equipped with 12-foot dish antennas, it could conveniently use radio communication traveling at the speed of light to send and receive messages. Nevertheless, we can't help but think about the challenges that the probes would encounter, especially when their journeys would be taking them to distances over 22 billion kilometers from our planet. For the ground team at NASA, it is nothing short of a miracle that they can keep in touch with the probes. This feat is thanks to the Global Deep Space Network, which employs large radio antennas that take in the faint signals transmitted from the Voyagers. Furthermore, we see the antennas maintain constant contact with the probe as they keep adjusting their positions to counteract the Earth's rotation. The antennas that make up the network are strategically stationed in Canberra, Australia, Madrid, Spain, and California, USA. This is to ensure that the data gets sent back to the ground team in real time. What's most intriguing is that even though these antennas are located thousands of miles apart, they work in perfect sync, ensuring there is no lag or miscommunication between the probes and the ground team. What happens here seems like the daily operations of a fully functional factory where the workers' duties are well-defined. In a similar vein, every antenna here knows the job it has to do, and the responsibilities assigned to them are well executed to ensure the Voyager data get to their rightful owners at NASA without delay. At this point, one may ask why we put so much effort into ensuring that the Voyager spacecraft stay in constant communication with the ground team at NASA. The answer is simple. We need to get accurate data from the spacecraft in real time to know the progress of their journey and an updated report on the shocking findings they are bringing our way. This is evidenced in Voyager 1's recent discovery that has left scientists at NASA scratching their heads and debating on the best way to interpret the bizarre information that the space probe just relayed back to Earth. Before we dive into this landmark finding, let's backtrack a bit and explore how the Voyager's journey to interstellar space has set a trail that is now hard to beat by other space explorers. This exploration has opened our eyes to new possibilities rewriting the limits of how far we think a spacecraft can travel in space. It is worthy of note that after taking us on an epic tour of our solar system and sending back data that has shaped the way we now view our cosmic backyard, Voyager 1 didn't end there. It decided to venture beyond our imagination by surpassing all expectations and crossing the final frontier in 2012 when it became the first spacecraft to enter interstellar space. The applause didn't die there because Voyager 2 crossed the interstellar border six years later in 2018. Interestingly, the data that the space probes kept sending back from their interstellar space voyage showed us the largest scope of the cosmos. Thanks to this interstellar exploration, the discoveries they have unearthed have helped us better understand the space beyond our solar system, especially the region where particles from our sun collide with materials from the rest of the galaxy. We are intrigued by the results the spacecraft have gathered over the years. Voyager 1 started the party when it detected strong evidence of cosmic rays emanating from a supernova. It continued with this streak as it went on to relay data about a more intense magnetic field in interstellar space than previously thought. What's fascinating is that these discoveries kept coming long after their initial missions ended. They kept lighting the way with new insights that expanded our understanding of the cosmos. This was possible because the Voyager craft was still in good working condition, and its instruments continued to operate and transmit data. Furthermore, we see that the probe's engineers back at NASA have been constantly reprogramming the onboard computers to ensure they keep functioning optimally. We see this expertise at play when in 2017 they decided to switch on backup thrusters that had been dormant since 1980, which was over 37 years ago, to adjust Voyager 1's orientation. Their longevity comes as a surprise because these amazing spacecraft were originally expected to last only five years. Still, their successful extension missions have granted us over four decades of unprecedented scientific achievements. Thanks to their mind-blowing longevity and their wide travels, they have set the standard for the kind of spacecraft that we expect in interstellar space. We can't help but applaud their achievements because they have taken on challenges that were once unimaginable. They have ventured into territories that were uncharted, exploring regions that no human or spacecraft has ever visited before. Like a brave knight in shining armor, they have brought us the treasures of knowledge that we never thought existed. In the decades since they launched, the Voyagers have rewritten our understanding of the solar system. They have expanded our perception of interstellar space and redefined the boundaries of human knowledge and exploration. 
Their incredible journey has set a precedent that will be hard to surpass, and their discoveries continue to inspire scientists and space enthusiasts alike. The Voyagers have taught us that the possibilities for exploration and discovery are limitless, and they have shown us that we can achieve the unimaginable if we dare to dream big. Their legacy will continue to inspire future generations of space explorers, and their discoveries will remain a testament to the incredible capabilities of human ingenuity and perseverance. The story of the Voyagers is not just a tale of technological triumph. It's a story of human spirit, curiosity, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Their journey is a reminder that we are part of a vast and mysterious universe, and there is always more to discover and learn.